Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 50. In this video, we will discuss what makes a triple a triple. Despite a number of DX Sudoku tutorials on triples, there still seems to be some confusion over what exactly is a triple in a Sudoku puzzle. The goal of this tutorial is to explain what exactly is a triple and hopefully end some of the confusion. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. More specifically, concentrate on the house making up row 4 now outlined in black. We find a naked triple in the cells now highlighted in green. All triples are composed of three cells. Each cell may have two or three possible candidates. In this example, cell 4, 1 and cell 4, 5 have three possible candidates. And the third cell making up our triple, cell 4, 8 has two possible candidates. To understand what makes a triple a triple, you have to hold the following idea in your head. All the possible candidates in the three cells, in this case 5, 7, and 8, are all needed in the three cells highlighted in green in order to complete the puzzle. So what does all needed mean? Consider the possible 7 and 8 candidates occurring in cell 4, 2 and cell 4, 7 now highlighted in dark red. Let's assume cell 4, 2 has a value of 7 as shown. This creates a 5, 8 naked pair now outlined in black. This means we cannot have a value of 5 in cell 4, 8 which is now X'd out. But now we have a problem. Our puzzle is no longer solvable. There are no remaining possible candidates we can choose for cell 4, 8. This is what is meant by saying all the candidates making up the naked triple are needed for the cells making up the naked triple. If we choose 7 for the cell 4, 2, then we do not have enough remaining possible candidates to choose a value for cell 4, 8. So we are forced to conclude 7 is a non-possible candidate for cell 4, 2. Next, consider what will happen if we choose the value 8 for cell 4, 2 as shown. Now we have a different problem. The three cells we have highlighted in green all have the same two possible candidates. Again, by not having the 8 available for the cells highlighted in green, there are only two numbers left to fill out all three cells. Because of this impossible situation, we must conclude that cell 4, 2 cannot have a value of 8. We have exactly the same results if we choose 7 for cell 4, 7 or if we choose 8 for cell 4, 7. Since 5, 7, and 8 are all needed to complete the cells highlighted in green, we can remove the non-possible candidates. Next, consider this Sudoku in progress. As before, the three cells making up the triple are highlighted in green. In this example, each of the three cells have all three possible candidates. For this naked triple, the kill zones are highlighted in red. The kill zones are defined by the two shared houses with the cells making up the triple. The non-possible candidates in the two shared houses are highlighted in dark red. The triple having three possible candidates in each of the three cells making up the triple is probably the easiest to understand. The three possible candidates 1, 5, and 9 must be used in each of the three cells. 1, 5, and 9 cannot be picked as a value in any of the other cells in the two shared houses. Next consider the following Sudoku in progress. Again we have highlighted all the cells making up the triple. In this example, each cell of the triple has only two possible candidates. This type of triple is the hardest to find in a puzzle. Again the same logic applies. All the possible candidates making up the triple are needed to be used as values for the three cells making up the triple. For example, say we choose the value 3 for cell 9, 2. As you can see, we only have 8 and 9 as values to fill out the three remaining cells making up the triple. The same is true if we pick 8 for cell 9, 2 or if we pick 9 for cell 9, 3. In each case, we do not have enough numbers to fill out all three remaining cells making up the triple. Try not to get hung up on the terminology. Don't let the word triple confuse you. Just remember, if all three candidates are not reserved to be used in the three cells making up the triple, then bad things happen. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. We have highlighted a hidden triple. With a naked triple, all three candidates are needed to fill in the three cells making up the triple. With a hidden triple, we have a slightly different problem. With a hidden triple, all three cells are needed for the three candidates making up the triple. For example, assume cell 5, 7 has a value of 2. Now we have only two remaining cells highlighted in green making up the triple where we need to place the numbers 1, 3, and 5. 
by placing the value 2 in the cell 5 comma 7 we are going to be missing a 1, 3, or 5 from the house making up block 6. Again, the idea of a triple is all three cells are needed for all three candidates. What is also interesting about this example is the seven remaining open cells in the house making up block six. We have a naked quad wrapping a hidden triple. We have highlighted the two, six, eight, nine naked quad in purple. The non-possible candidates are highlighted in dark red. For the naked quad, all the numbers making up the naked quad are needed for the four cells making up the naked quad. This completes DXUDoku training video number 50. Please support DXUDoku. Thank you for watching.